What are you doing there, sleepyhead? Not being sleepy because I already slept for like six hours today, so I'm good. You know, I'm not sleepy at all. We feel we feel a strong shit flexible, nigga. We feel strong today. You know what I mean? Took naps and shit. You know what I'm saying? Big big flex. And you know? I'm drinking a milkshake. Yeah, big so flex. So I'm getting my calcium. Big big health flex. Yeah. Next time your mom tries to tell you, no, you can't have a milkshake, just be like, but mom, I'm a growing boy. I need calcium for my bones. And then she's gonna roll her eyes at you and not buy you a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, these titties aren't gonna grow themselves. I need calcium for that. Come on. <laughs> I just wanted to drink my milkshake. <laughs> I feel like I didn't ask for this. SP231, the Scarlet King, we think. I watched one of the Explore series. I think the Vulcan had one up and then took it down for SCP-231. This is uh, special personnel requirements. Wait, but I need, I wanna know, sorry. I wanna know about the Scarlet King too. So is this gonna tell us about the Scarlet King or just the personnel? I've I have never seen this, baby. How am I supposed to know? I watched the Explore series, Scarlet King explanation. So we will see this, and then if this doesn't make sense, you'll watch that one by yourself to get more of a feel, and then I'll just have you read it. Spectrum Patronus. It's a squid. A squid came out. Expecto Patronum. Expectum Patronus. It's my Patronus. No, but it's Expecto Patronum. What is it called? It's a Patronus spell. It's a Patronus spell. I it's... expecto a Patronus to come out. <laughs> I had got into an argument with a friend mm -hmm. when he first learned that. The That's friend a of all. argument. The, the spell is called Expecto Patronum because he's expecting patrol. He's expecting help. He's expecting like a guardian. It's Latin for something or other. And I was like, no, it's expected which Okay, yeah. okay. To recreate the entire argument. And then yeah. no. <laughs> and, and then it is cute. So anyway, expecto patronum. What came out from yours? What's a cute Pokemon from the new Pokemon game you like? Sobble. Sobble came out. Hello. My name is not important. I represent the Ethics Committee. Seven seals. Whoa. Seven rings. Whoa. Seven brides for the Scarlet King. The item that we are going to... That was damn cool. That's fucking cool. Yeah. ...to be studying today is SCP-231. They gather round the natal bed, the foolish and the wise. Yeah. They fear the child yet to be born, whose voice shall rend the skies. Object class, Keta. The faithful watch the forest for the coming of the king. Their lanterns bright, they wait at night for the new world he shall bring. Terrifying. Sight and personnel requirements. Under special order of 05, the following addendum is attached to the beginning of the file for SCP-231-7. The dragon waits in shadows. His breath will scorch the land. The hero in the castle draws his sword and makes his stand. It's like All sing -y, but like devilish. You know? I like it. Yeah, yeah that's 100% my aesthetic. Yeah, right. I like it. You go ahead and play it. When you're ready. To SCP-2317 <laughs> must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. <laughs> SCP-2317 is to be kept in an undisclosed location. All personnel assigned to SCP-231 will be transported there blindfolded from Site-19 by a route including no fewer than seven different forms of transportation, including, Whoa. but not limited to aircraft, automobile, underground tunnel, and removal of blindfold during the transport process is grounds for immediate termination. Whoa. And somehow, I don't think they mean being fired. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they don't mean No, they're going to shoot you on fired. Side. Yeah, you're going to die. This is real. We've been getting pretty heavy SCPs. We're gonna, yes. we, we need to lighten it up. Nobody wants to, nobody wants us to watch the the light ones. No. No, they want us to watch the psychologically scarring, I I watched, debilitating, fear-causing SCPs. I watched the coffee machine. It was one of the greatest days of my life. And now I'm here and they're like, take the blindfold off and I'm gonna shoot you in the head. And he's like reading a death book. Please continue, Jesus Christ. All right, take a deep breath with me. Ready, one, two, three. 
play. The princess in the tower is hidden far away, but nothing under heaven can keep the groom at bay. Wow. Personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. Normal psychological screening procedures against Axis II disorders are waived, so long as the Class D personnel in question has the mental capacity to carry out Procedure 110 Montauk as needed. Okay. Personnel who express yeah. sympathy towards SCP-2317's plight and or express a desire to rescue or sympathize towards SCP-2317 will be transferred to another project without delay. Wow. Any actual rescue attempts will be met with immediate termination. Again, death. Personnel who have served on the staff of SCP-2317's containment team are not required to divulge information to others. No official record shall be kept of the names of any staff assigned to SCP-2317, nor will said service appear in the personnel files of said staff. They gather round with leering smiles, the soulless and the dead. Though her soul unwinds, the cruelest minds will keep her in her bed. While on site, individuals assigned to 2317 Whoa. will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changes to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. Wow. Six D-Class personnel are to be assigned to SCP-2317 each month for the purposes of carrying out Procedure 110 Mum Talk. Violent criminals are not to be used for this purpose due to the possibility of accidental fatality during the 110 Mum Talk process. How many months does the procedure take? What do you mean? Each month. So they do this every month? Yes. Montauk? Yeah. Every month. Special containment procedures. Following repeated escape and suicide attempts, and based on the failure of containment for SCP-231-1 through 6, wow. containment of SCP-2317 has been amended to the following. SCP-231 is to be contained within a soundproof holding cell adjacent to holding cells for six Class D personnel assigned for the purposes of Procedure 110 Montauk. Cameras will monitor every inch of the cell at all times wow. and must be manned 24 hours a day. Hey, Malfunctioning looking. monitoring equipment will be replaced without delay by psychologically screened staff. Doors will be magnetically locked, openable only by positive action by the control and monitoring facility. This includes all doors linking the main holding cell to those of six Class D personnel. SCP-2317 is to be kept restrained to a hospital bed at all times, except for the purposes of Procedure 110 Montauk. Hydration will be provided through IV drip. Feeding will be carried out twice a day through feeding tube approved by oh medical personnel Jesus. who have not taken the Hippocratic Oath. What the fuck? Under no wow. circumstances are narcotics, anesthesia, or other unapproved medications to be administered to SCP-2317. Whatever's happening is painful. Mm -hmm. This is intense. The porter told his apprentice to prepare him seven jars. Six he made with grace and skill. The last his hands did more. Procedure 110 Montauk is to be carried out at least once every 24 hours by Class D personnel. During Procedure 110 Montauk, at least one security clearance for 231 staff member must monitor the procedure by camera at all times. Although the sound may be turned off if the vocalizations of SCP-2317 become too distressing. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. Holy oh, smokes! No more is howling. Gone. It's morning black. In their dreams, its face is prowling. Come to take them back. Data punched per order of O5 redacted on redacted. Information moved to iZone document 231-110 Mondoc. Access to 231-110 Mondoc is limited to personnel Whoa. with security clearance 4 slash 231. Man, he popped, he popped off with this video, yo. And didn't nobody watch this shit? Dis Compared to some of his other stuff? What the fuck? Description. 
SCP-231-7 is a f female between 10 years of age. The king is in his courting clothes. The brides are in their beds. The unborn princes wait in sleep to raise their eager heads. SCP-231-1-7 through were retrieved from following a police raid on a warehouse owned by an organization called the Children of the Scarlet King. See article in the newspaper, Police Raid Satanic Sex Cult, Save 7. Oh, 24 no. hours after the rescue, SCP-231-1, real name, went into labor pains, giving birth three minutes later to SCP, causing a event resulting in confirmed casualties. Oh, Foundation personnel immediately took possession of remaining SCPs, 231-2 through to 231-7, and based on notebooks recovered from the cult, instituted Procedure 110 Montauk to prevent future occurrences. The hens were in the hen house, and seven eggs did lay, till the fox crept in by dark of night and stole the eggs away. Addendum 231A, current status of SCP-231 units. Six were broken by their bindings, Six no more shall sing. Comes the seventh full unwinding, and all the bells will ring. God damn. SCP-231-1. Deceased killed during initial recovery operations while giving right, birth right. to SCP. See casualty report for event 231 Alpha for more details. When the first had given birth, then all the birds did sing. Her screaming cries did shake the skies as she called out for her king. SCP-231-2, deceased, killed during attempt to remove fetus of second SCP specimen, resulting in immediate event. See casualty report for event 231 Bravo for more details. So they're giving, women giving birth to SCPs. Mm -hmm. And they're not surviving. By Doctor's Blade, the second bay, a life into the world. On timely hewn, neath a silent moon, the king's red flag unfurled. SCP-231-3, deceased, self-terminated. Following a prolonged period of distress caused by implementation of Procedure 110 Montauk, SCP immediately underwent a event. See casualty report for event 231 Jesus. Charlie for more details. His bride the third remained unheard, her cries for help ignored. She stopped her life with a surgeon's knife and gave it to our lord. SCP-231-4, deceased. Attempted to administer SCP-500, although successful in that all traces of SCP were expelled from the system, expelled remains immediately underwent event. Causing Expelled numerous casualties, remains. including SCP-231-4 oh. herself. Oh. See casualty yeah. report for event 231 Delta for more details. So they were forcefully giving these women abortions. A hundred percent. Very painfully. What the fuck? Of SCP giving birth to SCPs. And apparently it only takes like a month for the babies to come back. Right. So it has to happen all the time. Dang. Yeah. The fourth prepares a dagger and places it at her heart. The perfect cure cannot make pure what the king has set apart. SCP-231-5, deceased. Botched application of Procedure 110 Montauk resulted in SCP-231-5 giving birth to oh, SCP-1 oh, hour later, which then underwent event. Again. See casualty Jesus. report for event 231 wow. Echo and report on destruction of site 231 Whoa. Alpha. For more details, recruitment profile of Class D personnel was revised to minimize possibility of a second botched procedure, 110 Montauk. The fifth one's crown was bearing down upon the fox's set. It then was sundered with a mighty thunder, an apocalypse beget. SCP-231-6, deceased, killed, during escape attempt aided and abetted by Agent Oh, there it is. Who had been exhibiting heightened oh. stress levels due to prolonged exposure to SCP-231. 
obtained possession of SCP and attempted to use said weapon to rescue SCP-2316 wow. and 2317. Agent was killed in the resulting firefight, but a stray round resulted in the termination of oh, SCP-2316 as well. The features of SCP-2316's SCP then underwent Jesus. Wow, in the wake immediately. of this incident. O5 personnel voted by unanimous decision to amend personnel policies. See casualty report for event 231 Foxtrot for more details. On the sixth day, the walls gave way and the oceans turned to ash. Her birth gave work as the earth shook underneath the king's fell lash. SCP-231-7 As of SCP-231-7 is successfully contained at site. Seventh bride will break the tides. The moon no more will shine. There comes a day not far away. She'll birth the death of time. Addendum 231. Yep. So, okay. when they're talking about it at the beginning... Whew. Sorry, taking a brief break. Yeah. So when they're talking about at the beginning that they need to go through like a month of psychological counseling, they really just mean brainwashing. It seems like it. They're, like, they're uh, brainwashing you into understanding why you need to be holding this woman hostage. SCP-3000. <laughs> they, they're using the goo that it uh, releases for, uh, what is it called? What do they call it? Mind wipe stuff? Yeah, but what, are they, what was their name for it? I don't remember. Asbesticide or fucking... Asbesticide, no. Just bullshit until I think about it, obviously. But you know what I'm talking about. That's what, that's, probably, you. that's probably what they're doing, though. They're probably just, like, wiping their memories or something. Right. Yeah, that's what the last one covered. They were just like, yeah, it's kind of like... They could just be wiping everyone's memories of the event, so... It's just not as hard for them. Right. Yeah. Ready? Ish. You're good. You're fine. Well, my top of my head wasn't in the frame. Let's do it. The one B. This is a recording of a missive by O5. All right. Dear friends, it has come to my attention that recently certain rumors have surfaced regarding SCP-231. Due to a drop in staff morale, I have decided to address some of the more prevalent points. Yes, Procedure 110 Montauk is as horrible as you've heard which is why only Class D personnel are authorized to carry it out. Yes, it does involve brutal- No, assignment to SCP-231 is not intended to test your loyalty to the Foundation, your tendencies towards- or anything else. No, SCP-231 is not a punishment detail. Yes, there are staff members who have been on SCP-231 and have successfully transferred out by their own request. No, not everyone who's worked on SCP-231 is terminated upon leaving the project. Lies. <laughs> yes, staff members who have been assigned to SCP-231 are allowed to take Class A amnesics before amnesia. leaving the project if so desired. Yes, false memories are then implanted. No, none of the supposed methods for recovering or detecting false memories work. Yes, there are some of you who worked on SCP-231 and don't remember it. No, we have not given up trying to save SCP-231-7, but research in that field must be carried out with the utmost of caution. Based on the increased potency of each subsequent event associated with each subsequent SCP specimen, there is a strong possibility that SCP-231-7 event could result in a XK class end of the world scenario. This information is corroborated in notebooks recovered from the cultists. See document Seven Brides, Seven Seals, SCP-231 Adjunct B. No, putting the girl out of her misery is not an option. Neither is drugging her. She has to be aware of what is going on for 110 Montauk to work. Wow. One final note. The Foundation does many distasteful things in the Good. completion of our mission, but our mission is important enough that the price is one we must pay. Containment of SCP-231 is one of our most dangerous duties, not because of any direct danger to ourselves, but because of the danger that our resolve will fail, that we will allow ourselves to either let down our guard due to our sympathy for the suffering of an innocent, or that we will allow ourselves to become monsters through the performance of monstrous acts. Just do your jobs, and save the philosophizing for the shrink. Yours sincerely, 
Oh, five. Oh, hell no. hear anything he said at the end there? He said they have exactly what they want. Why would they bother trying to save her? I don't know what the hell that means. Addendum 231C. Update. 231.7's emotional response to Procedure 110 Montauk appears to be reduced recently, despite proper execution of said procedure, increasing danger of SCP undergoing a th event. Two options have been proposed. Number one development of a new containment procedure with higher emotional response than Procedure 110 Montauk. Number two, yeah, administration amnestics. of a Class A yeah. amnestic to SCP-2317, yep. allowing okay. for a return to base emotional response state. Said memory modification is to be administered during execution of Procedure 110 Montauk to maintain heightened emotional state following memory reset. Please advise. The Doctor never tells his god which one he really seeks. Instead, he hides himself away, and quietly he weeps. Doctor. Addendum 231-D. Decision. Carry out option two at the first available opportunity. Their god's own voice, he makes the choice, declaring with the word. In fear and pain, let her remain. Lest she be like the third. Oh, five. I don't remember what happened to the third. I did the 231. I think the third one is the one that killed herself. I thought that was... Okay, yeah, probably. E. Aftermath. Option two was carried out. SCP-231-7's emotional state returned to 100% efficacy. Dr. subsequently committed suicide due to heightened emotional stress. Will continue analysis of efficacy of treatment. Just like the fell off my gone head. Yeah, yeah. his blood. Hold on. I didn't pause it at all. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't get to listen to what's happening. Sorry, I didn't want to pause the it. Treatment. It was it was a good part. The doctor's gun ended his run as he put it to his ear, as she was defiled, the pitied child. He gave it to his fear. So that's what I was thinking. What? What do you think? I think they're raping her. You think it's rape? Yeah. And then abortion? Mm-hmm. Like abortion rape? Something like that. That's pretty, that's way more terrible. Yeah. I was thinking like, yeah, just bad. I think. But why does it have to be six? I don't know. I'm very confused. I mean, it's a sex Doctor. cult. So it's yes. got to be horrible sex Addendum 231F. Continued analysis of efficacy of treatment. After some analysis, I have determined that it is not necessary to perform memory modification every time Procedure 110 Montauk is carried out. In fact, it is better to delay for some time before re-administering the agent. Analysis of Subject 2317's emotional response indicates that efficacy of Procedure 110 Montauk seems to peak between the third and fourth performance of the procedure. The dread of anticipation for the event seems to heighten emotional response for a time, before familiarity with the procedure begins to lessen the efficacy of the treatment. My recommendation is that Class A amnestics be administered once a week during Procedure 110 Montauk. The calendar has been modified accordingly. Her memory a fickle thing, the strongest shall endure. When her weeping starts to waver, the drugs make her mind pure. Dr. Th So, the Scarlet King is not SCP-231, but SCP-231 has something to do with the Scarlet King. So, in the other explanation of the, the from the Explorer series, they kind of touch on a couple more theories of what is on the other side. That is an actual, it's, it's an actual end of the world event. It's pr pretty, uh, pretty right on. Yeah. All right, well, that was pretty good. That was... You said it's confusing. I don't know how it sticks. SCPs are not straightforward, so it's fine that it's confusing. Well, there you go. The Scarlet King again, and it's terrible still. Well, this isn't the Scarlet King, though. This is his lover or wife or 
they're not whatever. yeah sex cult slave sex cult slave person look he surrogate called, look he wrote her a whole ass poem and called her his bride which is cute so you know you know he's trying hashtag nice guy scarlet king's a nice guy the scarlet king's oh a fucking God. scp nice guy all right whatever peace